FTRE back on the video vibe. Uh, we, we're giving it a go uh, while we remember. Uh, and, and just trying to do a little bit of preview for the podcast that's going to be coming up. Talk about stuff that we will, will be out of date, basically, by the time uh, the podcast rolls around. This week on a Sunday, uh, with a game at half past four, and it's not even on the television. I mean, what's that about? Come on, Everton, stick it a bit earlier. It's a long drive back from, uh, from Goodison Park. Uh, so the big news this week has been uh, Troy Deeney getting a three-match ban uh, for what, for me, just looked like him just trying to pick some spots. You know, how the blackhead problem that, that Joe Allen had. I mean, what's the problem? Three-match ban for him, so uh, guarantee we'll have uh, Andre Gray up front. But the question is, who will be on the bench? Maybe it's the time for the return. Maybe it's time to see the greatness that is Jerome Sinclair. Or maybe, as everyone seems to be chatting about, Stefan Okaka, who we haven't seen since the first game of the season uh, against Liverpool, where he did all right. So, Mike, why hasn't he been playing? What is it he doesn't like? What is it that Marco doesn't like about... Well, at this stage, your guess is as good as mine. You can only assume that one of two things. A, there's a... Um, uh, uh, personality clash they just don't get on they've fallen out or something like that and he's being punished or secondly that Marco doesn't like his style of play and uh, uh, he views him as someone who doesn't fit into his footballing ethos or plan either way with Troy Deeney out and Andre Gray hardly amongst the goals um, it'd be a brave man to suggest that they shouldn't bury their differences whatever they may be um, and get a carker on the uh, on the squad list and up to Everton. We definitely need something different now that Troy's going to be missing for three days. We're in danger of going into the uh, international break on the uh, on the back of three defeats. Uh, Everton are going to be desperate to, to get a win, so we need something different. You know, how good would it have been to have a car on for, for 10, 15 minutes at the end there against Stoke? So let's wait and see. Why he doesn't play? Who knows? Let's see if that changes this weekend. Anyway, come on you Hornets, we got this. Will he start? Will he? Won't he? We don't know. But if he does start, Jason, what does he offer compared to Deeney and Andre Gray? Deceptive. That's one of the words that come to mind when I think of Stefano Akaka. Um, with the other players, with Deeney, you kind of get what you see. And we saw a lot of that at the weekend against Stoke. He's a, he's a big lad. And he said it himself. He, he puts himself about a bit on what he lacks in technical ability. Uh, he makes up for in cojones. With the Carker, I think when the attitude is right, he's got a little bit more to his game. I think there's there's technical ability in those feet. We saw it a bit against Liverpool where, yes, he does use that brute force, that big strength that he's got. But then he's also got good feet as well. And I, and I think we've seen it from him. He can hold the ball up, but then he doesn't have to lay it off. He's actually got the ability to turn defenders who are tight up against him. Just gives that little bit more, and that's where that deception comes in. I also think he's probably quicker than people imagine him to be as well and again that could catch people off guard and especially given that he hasn't got much game time this season that will be in his favour because people haven't seen him play they're not sure what to expect so why not chuck a carker in there could be a bit of a secret weapon Thanks for watching this. It's a little short video, but make sure you do subscribe to From the Rooker End uh, on Apple Podcasts or on any of the variety of places where you can listen to podcasts. Just search for From the Rooker End uh, and we'll have an episode up Sunday night, ready for your Monday morning, as we always try and do. Uh, we'll be reacting to everything that happens at uh, Goodison Park. Uh, and, uh, and do get along, because if you are watching it, somewhere naughty, uh, then uh, you do can send us some tweets and we can record the whole podcast as the game's sort of going on. Uh, so thanks a lot for watching this little short video uh, and thank you for listening to From the Rookery End over the last eight seasons and uh, particularly thank you to everyone who uh, supported us uh, for our nomination we got this week for the Football Supporters Federation. We've been nominated for Club Podcast of the Year. Find out if we win that or not. Uh, on uh, Monday the 5th of December. So thank you for all your support if you've ever listened once or you've listened to all 200 or something episodes. Don't know we've done now. Uh, it's over 80 and there's loads. Uh, so thank you very much uh, and uh, speak to you after the game.